Madam President, it is an honor and a pleasure to have you at the Council of the Americas and the Americas Society uh, this evening. You are such a role model for women everywhere in the world. You're the first woman to be elected president in Costa Rica, which, by the way, in our women's rights section of America's Quarterly, Costa Rica, was ranked number one in the oh, 2013 Social Inclusion Index. What do you see as the most important challenge for Central American women to arrive and, and become leaders of industry, of business, and political leaders? I would say that in general terms, because of course uh, each country, each nation uh, has its own challenges. But in general terms, I would say that when you analyze Central America and Latin America in general terms, uh, you find a lot of progress uh, in terms of political participation of women. We have increased the participation in Congress. For example, in Costa Rica, we have reached almost 50% of participation. Wow. The same is uh, about the same as in Argentina and in many other countries in Latin America. You find also many women in the judicial branch. Uh, you already find many women uh, who have been a president of their own nations. In terms of political participation, I, I think we have achieved an enormous progress. However, when we come to the private sector, to the corporate sector, we need much more to do. Uh, because women have problems to be hired. Uh, they are the victims of underemployment. Um, so, and they find a lot of difficulties uh, to get to the higher positions in the corporation. So I think we have much to do in terms of um, equal rights for women in the private sector. I agree with that. True in the United States <laughs> as well. Overall, women in Latin America hold 24.5% of all the legislative um, seats compared to 15% in 2000. Um, do you believe that one of the ways to advance more women um, in Congress and the Senate, and frankly on boards of uh, directors of companies, do you believe in quotas? I do believe in quotas, uh, but I think that the quotas have to be uh, understood as a transitional instrument um, because otherwise it's very hard to change attitudes. And Costa Rica, Costa Rica is an example. Uh, we legislated for quotas uh, concerning the political participation. And after that, we really changed the patterns of political participation. Uh, now, I understand that someday, uh, probably it, quotas won't be necessary because society already understood that uh, you deserve the same uh, opportunities that men deserve. Thank you very much. Um, this year, uh, the Global Innovation Index named Costa Rica as Latin America's leading country, uh, the most innovative country. It jumped 20 spots. So could you tell us a little bit about what you did to get <laughs> there? Well, um, I would say that it, it doesn't happen from one day to another. Costa Rica has been a long-term leader uh, on issues like uh, human development, education, and that has to do with innovation. If you do not have an educated population, uh, you cannot aspire to be an innovative society. Uh, we have a very sound uh, educational system. Yeah, it has been scored also as the number one in Latin America by the World Economic Forum and also uh, through the PISA test that we are applying as a country. Uh, and at the same time, we have invested during the last years in two very important skills. Uh, a second language, which is English, and digital uh, technology. So I think that those two uh, programs combined uh, have allowed us uh, to promote a more uh, uh, innovative oriented uh, society. In May, you will leave office as president. And what is left to be accomplished in your administration? What's important? What do you feel personally is really important for you to do in these last seven to eight months? Uh, well, you always feel 
that uh, uh, there are many things that you had, you know, like it to achieve. There's so many constraints that you find uh, when you have, you know, such a, a small period of time where we we only uh, govern for for years and we do not have re-election. Um, we have also lead in a period uh, where many important fiscal constraints. But uh, considering the circumstances, I think, uh, which is most important is that we are living a more competitive country uh, than in the past. Uh, also, we have improving uh, the uh, Costa Rican ranks in most of mm -hmm. the critical areas of the development agenda. Uh, in peace and security, which was one of the main concerns of my people. Uh, we have improved in security. Uh, probably I had liked to uh, uh, see even more in terms of infrastructure. Uh, we got a very important amount of resources to be invested, but we have moved very slow in terms of implementing. Uh, these specific projects. I hope next government will continue with making Costa Rica a very competitive uh, nation. Thank you very much for taking this time with us um, and congratulations on everything and your leadership and everything you've done. No, thank you, Susan. You are a leader too in the thank region. You very thank much. you. Thank you. <laughs>